At over 2,200 meters above sea level, the Mexican Grand Prix held in Mexico City is the highest circuit on the F1 calendar, where the cars not only battle each other on track, but battle the air itself. But how does being so high up affect Formula One cars? Let's dive in. Aerodynamics. At a higher altitude, air gets thinner, and that's a game changer. The wings generate less aerodynamic downforce, basically meaning less pressure equals less grip. Braking distances are longer, cornering speeds drop, and the cars slide around a lot more. So on a lap, cars aren't going as quick as they would be on the same track if it was much closer to sea level. The teams essentially run Monaco wing levels to try and generate some downforce. You might hear it described as Monaco wing levels for Monaco the downforce, but despite running massive wings, there's hardly any drag penalty down the long straights in Mexico because of the thin air. Driver impact. Another way altitude affects F1 is with the drivers themselves. At that height, the air contains around 25% less oxygen than the air at sea level. This could cause the drivers to have shortness of breath, an increased heart rate, and less stamina. All of these things can make taking part in the race itself much more demanding on the body, leaving the drivers exhausted after completing 71 laps. To to combat this, some of the drivers use hypoxic chambers to prepare in advance. These are controlled rooms with lower oxygen levels, used quite a lot by athletes trying to acclimatise to their environment. Engine performance Modern F1 engines use turbocharged hybrid power units, and the turbos help deal with problems caused by higher altitudes. But even so, the engine still loses some power because there's less oxygen in the air, meaning the turbo has to work even harder to squeeze the thinner air, making the engine hotter and can cause reliability issues. Tyres. Due to the air being less dense, the wings and floor generate less downforce, meaning less load on the tyres. The result of this? Lower cornering grip, more sliding, and an increased tyre temperature. With less cooling from the thin air, the tyres get rid of heat less efficiently, meaning they can get hot quick. The teams know this, and it can make for a more entertaining race. There's more risk of tyre blistering, so the drivers have to take tyre management seriously, plus shorter stints between pit stops. Now if you hear the word altitude mentioned many times this weekend, you'll know a little bit more about why. 